How are we all doing? Welcome to another fishing video. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty shattered this morning. I've done a night shift last night, six at night till six this morning. I've had a couple of hours kip. Um, just been out and about, got my bait for today. Uh, just about to go and pick the boys up and we are going to Tramps Alley Corton. We are on a cod hunt today. Um, loads of reports of cods coming out lately, so that is what we're doing today. We are heading down there today and we are after the cod. That is the plan. Uh, just boiling the kettle, just going to fill my flask up. Uh, car's pretty much loaded, ready to go. So yeah, just going to pick a couple of boys up. We're going to get in the car and I will see you when I'm on the beach. Right, so here we are, Tramps Alley, Corton Beach. Uh, we've come down this slope again, and again, there's quite a few fishermen here. Not as many last time we come down there, there was 20 odd anglers, but there's five or six people fishing. So we've headed towards the left, down towards the Hopton bit a bit more. Uh, Grant and Jordan side, they're up there. I don't know, they're all bunched up together. I don't know why they're so close. <laughs> they're going to get tangled up in a bit. Um, I'm starting off the pulley panel. These are the, on my last video. I've done a basic rig making video of a pulley panel and a two hook flapper, and that is what I'm starting with today. So, this rig is what I made up in my front room the other day. I've got a whole squid on there, and this one here, two hook flapper, only short snoods on there. They're only short snoods, and they got worm on them. We've got a fishing boat literally 200 yards out there, 250 yards. Now that is only there if the cod are there, that is why the boat's there. Right anyway, let's get these in the water, let's get this bait out. Right, that is it, we are out there, we are fishing. Bait is in the water. Uh, the tide is on the way in. You always told here when the tide comes in, it's quite a strong current here. That right hand rod is already leaning around to the right. I believe high tide is about half past 12. It is now just coming up to half past 11. So we've got an hour to the high tide. Then after the high tide, that's when I'm thinking we're gonna start fishing well. Like I said, we've got a fishing boat out there. He's 200 yards out. Now he's only there if there's rays, cod, that's what he's after. So if they're catching cod there, we've got a pretty good chance of catching cod here. Uh, we've got a, one guy fishing up there, there's another guy further up, there's us four here. Walk past matey up there, we asked him how he's doing, he said he's had three whiting out. Uh, there's another igloo beach shelter up there and there's another one just past him. So there's a few people down there, so there's a few people about, hopefully that means the fish are about. There's another boat coming across now from Lowestoft. Let's see where Emo's up. But this one here, I can literally see the people on the back of the boat. I can see them actually reeling in. If they catch a big enough fish, I reckon I'll be able to see that from here. So if the cod are that close in, that is good. That is what we want. So my bait today, I got my bait from uh, Gorston Tackle Centre as usual. We've got some frozen squid in there. Uh, we've got some blacks that are frozen, literally frozen solid. They need to thaw out because they are just absolutely frozen normally i'll get the frozen today before and let them thaw out but these are frozen solids so they need to thaw out and we've got some fresh lugworm as well some nice lugworm got 25 of them so yeah 25 fresh we've got some frozen blacks uh got some squid so we've got plenty of bait told you cyrus is reeling in he's caught up on grant's line i said that i said they were too close the way the tide pulls around here See, don't listen, do they? 
<laughs> right, between the four of us, hopefully we get something out. And I'm hoping today, I'm hoping to get a cod out. That is the aim of today. Today is cod day. Look, that little fishing boat, he ain't much further out neither. That one, as I was saying, come up from Lowstoff. He's just tricking along out there. I reckon we're in a good spot here. So let's keep our eyes on the rods and hopefully get sand out. Right, first cast. That was the first cast. And we had a little whiting out. Tiny little thing, look. Tiny. And he's taking that hook right down. So we get him off and we get him back in alive. Bait's gone on that. That one I reeled in. Look at that. All that squid, big chunk, bitten off. Right, bitten off the end there. Right, let's get this whiting off. Get some fresh bait on. Let's get these back out. Oh, so, so I'll always say it, at least I haven't blanked. But I don't want to be catching them little pin whiting all day. I want to actually be getting some decent fish out. That one on the right hand side, I was reading in, it felt like there was a big clump of weed on there. But the tip was moving, I was a bit unsure. I was like, is that a fish on there or was that weed? It felt very heavy. And all of a sudden it just all of a sudden broke free. I reeled it in, there was no weed on there whatsoever. So it was making me think there was a fish on there. And when I pulled it in, that squid that was that big is now that big. And you can see where it's like that, straighten off. I think something's come up and Someone's come up and grabbed that. So we've got a fresh lug back out on the two hook flapper. We've got that squid back out on the right hand side. Size just brought a little whiting in as well. Again, only a little pin whiting. Grant's reeling in, I'm not sure if he's on. He's reeling in. But like I say, the fact that that boat's out there, I'm feeling hopeful for today. Hopeful we're saying decent. That tide is really strong, it's really pulling the lines around. So I'm really casting out towards the left hand side. And then by the time I tighten the lines, it's kind of more in front of me then. But we're out there, we're fishing. What more can you want, eh? It's probably better than being at work. I know I'm absolutely shattered. I've had about three hours sleep, but I'd rather be down here, do you know what I mean? So, you know what time it is now, didn't you? I think it is time to make yourself a nice cup of tea. Here we go. Literally, look, I just was going to make myself a nice cup of tea. I've literally just poured the tea. As I've looked up, the left hand one has just done that. Just quickly turn the camera and I'm going to keep an eye on that. If that goes again, I'm going to have that. And that looked like a good little tug there as well. A little bit more than you get off those little pin whiting. It's gone quiet at the moment, so you could either play him dead or he's just sniffing around the bait. But I literally just, just poured myself this cup of tea. And as I looked up, I see it. As I looked up, I see it knocking. That's only out 50 yards, the one on the left, two hook flappers about 50 yards out. The pulley panel, I am chucking out there. I'm literally, I'm hoping about 150 odd, 140, 50 yards out there. I mean, I absolutely threw that out there. Especially, here, right, look, we're going, we're knocking. Let's add that in. I reckon he's a little white and a little dab. But we'll have that. Let's have a little look. Number two, I called it, I said that was a little whiting, didn't I? And that's what it is, and he's only just hooked in the head, just hooked in the mouth. A bit bigger than the last one. Right, we get him off and we get him back in alive. Come on, let's get him off. And here we go, number three's just come out. I'm not going to keep coming back every time I get these white in, but again, he's not a bad size. He's a bit bigger than the last one. Look, if I show you next to him with my face, he's not too bad, he's only hooked in the lip. Right, let's get him off and we'll get him back in. Oh, right, I ruled that left hand side one in and another little white in on that as well. So I don't want to keep putting these little white in out. So I was at about three or four out, he's actually stagged at the moment. Everyone's putting a little white in out. I want to say, so I'm putting some blacks on, see if I can attract something a bit different. Right, let's get this bait in the water. I want to throw that out at 40 yards and this pulley panel, I'm literally going to chuck out there as far as I can. Let's see what we can attract now. Get some blacks on there, try and get something a bit different.
Right, we are out there, that is it. So I've got blacks on the left now. Hopefully try and track something a little bit different than white in with the blacks. See if the coddling in the game sound different. Pretty panel on the right, whole squid. And I've just thumped that out, right out as far as I can thumb that out. So I snagged up, we'll have a little walk over there now, see what's going on with him. See if I can help him out. Grant's pulling out another white in. So on the days when you blank and you catch nothing, at the end of the day you get a white in, you're like, oh, thank God for that, I've caught something. But on days like today, Look, left hand rod knocking already on the blacks, and I guarantee that's a white in on there. I guarantee it. Yeah, oh, he's actually having quite a bit of a tug there. Let's have a little look. Let's see what's going on there. That's only literally got in the water. You just seen me cast it. I've literally, literally just cast that out. Two at a time now. I put blacks on to try and get something different, and I didn't get nothing different. I ended up catching two at the same bloody time. Right, let's get these off and get these back in. Bait's still on the bottom one, so that'll do for another cast. Right, let's get these back in. Right, let's go and have a look. Sai's shouting down, saying he's caught a big white in. So I'm going to bring this down and measure it up and we'll see what it is. Oh, he ain't that big, Sai. Biggest we probably had out today. So what, hold him like that, I'll probably be able to measure him like that. I can't see it, it's holding. 31, yeah, that big, man. Yeah? Bigger, big, biggest we've probably had out today so far. Probably the biggest we've had out. Well, I'm changing tactics a little bit now. That uh, whole squid I had out on the pulley panel, I just had the tiniest little white and take the fucking big hooks. I'll just, I don't know. So I'll change the tactics a little bit now. So what I'm going to do now, I'll put a whole black on the pulley panel. So I'm hoping a big massive worm like that will put a little fish off. I'm hoping it just attracts a decent sized fish. And on this side, I've just got literally on the flappers, two little bits of squid on each one. And let's see if we can do something a bit different. We keep getting the white in it. I think Si is the only person that's had something different out. He had a little dab out and that was it. Right, I want to get these cast out anyway. Another white just come out, I've just measured him up, he's 31 centimetres, same as what size was just now. And he took that black, the whole black on the pulley panel, he took. I'm waiting for this wave and we're getting the other side of that. There he goes. Yeah, he took a whole, whole black, fresh black, uh, frozen black worm he took on the pulley panel. I pulled the squid one in, a bit of squid still on there, the other one bait stripped. So... Let's get these sorted out and we're getting back in the water. Right, well, it's just gone one o'clock. High tide was about half 12. So it should kind of be on the turn a little bit now. Still not had anything different out from whiting. I think Sai is the only person that's had something different out. He had a dab out. Other than that, all we're getting out non-stop is whiting. I've lost count. I must have had oh, 15, maybe 20, easily easily uh, still got just a little bit of squid on the two hook flapper and then on the right hand side I put a fresh lug worm on there I put a whole fresh lug worm on there on the panel so I put a nice hook through the bottom nice hook through the top and I'll say that boat is still out there that boat was only 200 odd yards out and they're not going to be there catching whiting do you know what I mean they're obviously getting raised cod they're getting something decent, do you know what I mean? Or they wouldn't be there, they'd have moved on by now. So the fact that they're catching something decent, just a couple of hundred yards out, does sort of give you hope. Well, it gives me hope anyway. So, another cup of tea. I think that's about my fourth cup so far today. 
and just keep praying and praying and keep me fit well, that one on the left is knocking quite a lot but it's a whiting knock do you know what I mean? Well, I'm not even an expert fisherman. You know some people, when the, the rod knocks, and as they're reading in, they can kind of tell what's on there. I'm not that much of an expert, but I know a whiting when I see a whiting knock. They're just so, like, skitty and scatty. They just make the rod literally... Uh, he's putting it quite a bit. Let's have it in. Let's have a look. It's proved me wrong now. You watch it, won't be a whiting. <laughs> Let's read it in. Let's have a look. Let's see what's on there. Yeah, as predicted, as predicted, whiting. Right, let's get him off, let's get him back in. Right, Sire's reeling in as well. Well, you got anything on there, Sire? If he has, it probably be a, probably be a little whiting. Like I say, we've had non-stop whiting. How many whiting you had, Sire? You lost count, haven't you? Too many, mate. Yeah, I've lost count as well. Nothing on there, that's all. Yep. Nothing on there. I mean, he's lost count. Guan's had loads of whiting out. Dawn has had whiting out. I say, Sai's the only person who's had a dab out. He's the only one that's saying different. Tide is well on the turn now, though. Starting to see the sand along the along the shore of line here now. Tide's definitely heading out. And normally, the last four or five times we fished here, we have done a lot better as the tide is going out. A lot better. So I'm hoping that his tide's going out. I think I said this earlier. I do repeat myself a lot. I know that. But I did say this earlier, when the tide starts going out, that's hopefully when we start getting a few more different species. Fingers crossed, that's all we can do. Oh, well, I just got snagged up on that right hand side one, that pulley panel one. I got snagged up, trying to retrieve it, walking up and down the beach, letting the clutch go, letting it slip back and forth. Ruin it in, ping, 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 line just snapped. So, and it snaps quite close in as well. So most of that line's still out there, so that's now putting me off casting that one out as far. So I don't want to get all caught up on that line that's still sort of out there. I know the sea does wash it around a bit, but I don't know. Well, I'll put another pulley panel on there. I've got, luckily with these reels I've got here, when you buy these reels, I know they're nothing like special, but you get two spare spools with them. So I've already got spare spools all made up with shock leader already on them. So literally that spool off, new spool on. I'll put a pulley panel back on there. Shorter trace than the last one. The, the other pulley panel, that one I had on there is the one that I made up on my last video. I was just making basic rigs up at home, two hook flapper, pulley panel. And it just shows, in it? it shows that the rigs I make up do work, they do catch, because that's what I've been catching on. And like I said, there's no right way of making a rig, there's no wrong way, it's just personal preference how you want to make them up. But that was how I made them up. And like I said, it's been putting white in that all day. Shame it didn't pull nothing a bit better out. So I've put another pulley panel on there, but the actual hook length is a lot shorter than the one I was using earlier. But I've put a whole squid on there, I've thrown it out, I don't know, maybe 60 odd yards. I've got a fresh lug on the two hook flapper. That boat is still out there, although you can hardly see it. The fog is starting to come in again. When we left Yarmouth this morning, it was really thick, misty, foggy, really thick. And as we've got, the day's gone on, it's burnt off a little bit, and now it's starting to come back in. You can hardly see that boat. Right, that two hook, that pulley panel is knocking. Now there's a five ounce weight on there. So it's still got to be something bigger than five ounces to be able to lift the weight off the bottom and actually make the rod knock. So that's making me think there might be something half decent on there. If that knocks again, I'm going to pull it in. You watch it be a, you watch it be a, that, like a little white in. But like I say, there's a whole squid on there, tentacles are hanging off, so it could just be something having a nibble. Left hand one knocking as well. 
Like I say, it's just been an absolute whiting fest down here today. Yeah, let's have a look at that one on the right. Let's have a look. In the tackle box, Jordan. We well, got white in. Yeah, it's not a bad size. Yeah, it's in the tackle box. In the tackle box, yeah. Cheers, man. Oh yeah. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. What? You didn't even get it out, did you? Yeah. Right, let's have a look, Jordan. You have amazing, David. Uh, get I've got the camera rolling down here as well. We'll have a look. Well, me and Si have had 31 so far. So have you got the biggest so far, Jordan? Is his nose on that there? That was 33 a minute ago. Yeah, look, his nose is off the... Yeah, 33. Well, that's the biggest so far, Jordan. That's the biggest. Well, I just reeled that one in on the right. I thought it was knocking. Look, Santa's pulled all the bait off the hooks. He's tugged it and tugged it and tugged it, but nothing's actually taken it. It's making me think maybe I should have just left it a little bit bloody longer. But let's sort this out. Let's get this back on there. Let's get it all taped back up. Uh, the, uh, oh my God, mine's been blank. The cotton, the uh, bait elastic. We'll get it all wrapped back up and we'll get it back out again. Well, it's now coming up to half past two. That uh, mist and fog is really starting to come in now. Even, let me give this a wipe. I'll give that a wipe in case it's got a bit of condensation on it. That's really starting to come in. My right hand side rod, I'm not even joking mate, I reckon, I'd, I think I just had a cod bite on the right hand side one. I've never seen a rod like literally fucking in half like that. I had a whole squid on there. Then when I reeled in and had a look, literally half the squid had gone. And you could actually see little marks in it where it had been grabbed and pulled off. How it didn't get caught on the hook, I don't know. I'm telling you, that was definitely, that was a cod bite, that was definitely, and I was up there, I was talking to the boys, I was up there talking to the boys, and I see it go, and I ran down the beach, and they were all laughing, because they'd never seen me run towards a fishing rod like that, I literally sprinted, I've got one whole squid left in the box down there, I've got a few fresh blacks left, and a few of the frozen blacks, but bait's running low, that left one's going as well now, but that's a white in bite, isn't it? You can kind of tell. That one on the right, there's no way that was a white in bite. That literally, absolutely thumped. So I brought it back in, and like I say, you can see where it's been chomps off. So I've resorted that out, tied it all back on again, bait elastic, and I'll put it back out roughly where it was. I don't know if this camera's doing like the mist and the fog any, any kind of justice. When you look out to sea there, it's really starting to come in thick now. Oh, I just want a, I just want a cod. That's all I want now. Right, so there we go. End of the day. We're calling it quits now. Fog is getting worse and worse. It's quarter past three. So we've had a good sort of four, four and a half hours. I'm all packed up, size packed up. Martin and Jordan are walking back to the car. So, as usual, all my rubbish is in there. That again in the bin before we uh, leave. Absolutely no sign of ever on this beach. So, but it ain't been a bad day. Like I say, we didn't blank, loads of white in. So I had a couple of dabs out. Just a shame we couldn't get any cod out. But looking at the people fishing left and right of us, I haven't seen anyone pull out anything too big. But there's always another day. So, uh, all right, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you on the next video.